So one of the things I'm having a little fun with lately is using Wordle as a way to create silhouette characters and graphic elements for my e-learning courses. And not only is it a great way to create those objects, but it's kind of a nice way to provide that big picture or um, summarize some of the key points or key words of a section or module. So let me show you what I'm working with here. If you haven't created Wordle, it's pretty straightforward. I've, I've already copied a, uh, a, an e-learning script to my clipboard, so I just want to click Create. I'm going to paste all that text right here. So click Go, and Wordle does its thing. Okay, the black and white would work. I'm going to go for a little color, and let's maybe just try randomizing this. Again, any of this can work, whatever you like. I am going to go for a horizontal layout. I think that's going to be a little bit easier to read. Of course, you can play with it any way you like. So everything there looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just add some color. Yeah, that's going to work. I'm going to do something real quick. I could print this out as a PDF, but I actually want this to be a little bit larger than I, um, I see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Open Window, and I'm going to stretch this out. So you won't be able to see all of it, but what I'm going to do with this at this point is just take a screenshot of all of this text and save that out. I want it a really large, and if I scale it here in Wordle, you can see that I don't lose any of the resolution. It doesn't pixelate or anything. So if I did that um, from saving it out as a PDF and then opening that image and then scaling it, it's going to look a little um, pixelated. So I'm just going to scale this pretty large. I have Snagit installed, so I'm just going to click uh, Print Screen and take a quick uh, screen grab of this. Okay, so I just got a quick screenshot of that, and I'm going to go ahead and just save this now. And I want to save it just to a folder on my desktop. And I'll just click Save, Replace, that's fine. Okay, so I'm done with Snagit. At this point, I can also close out of Wordle, and let's jump over to PowerPoint. So here's a couple I played with right here, the silhouette of the, the woman, and then I have a couple investors shaking hands, and then the a house. So here we go. Just a couple clip art images. Windows Enhanced Metafile is what you can work with, whether you're pulling it out of the clip art library or you're saving you know, your own graphics out of a graphics program that's going to work fine. But when I first look at this image, it looks like it's transparent, right? I can move it over objects and see that the background's there. But whether you're creating your own uh, clip art objects or you're pulling it out of the Microsoft clip art, you're still going to want to first right click and then choose ungroup. And that's because, and there's a little dialog window you'll get, there are some other elements that are hidden here. And what'll happen if you don't do this and you apply the background, it's going to fill the entire shape, and it's not going to look quite right. So you can see right there, if I click now inside of it, I get this secondary rectangle, and that's sort of a bounding box around the graphic. I want to delete that. So I'm just click the Delete button. Now I'm ready to go ahead and format this, uh, this, this shape with a, with, a, with a picture. So I'll right-click and then choose Format Shape, and I'll select Picture, and I'll browse over here to the one I just selected, and there it is. Tile Picture as Texture is going to work. And also now, because I did scale that image so large, I can change the size of it. And this is going to be helpful because depending on how many words you have or how large your shape is, you may want to um, reposition some of this so that you actually get a, a fair amount of words in there, but also be able to um, make out the actual shape. So that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll offset this y-axis negative 20. And you may have to play with the uh, the shapes here a little bit and on and change the um, go up there, the actual orientation of it. Right now it looks pretty good. I might bring that to 50, and that's probably fine. Probably a little bit too big, so maybe 40 again. All right, so I want to show you something real quick. So you keep playing with it as as you like. At this point, we're filling a vector object, which means it's a lot of. Um, processing power to do this. If I drag this over, you're going to see there's going to be a little bit of a pause. Best thing to do is save this now out as an image, save as a picture, and I can call that uh, House Wordle is fine, and now bring that image back in. And the reason being is that as a single PNG file or image file, it's not going to tax the system like a vector object. So I could either delete this or save this in sort of a source file folder. So with it selected now, I can come in here and choose picture effects, you know, a drop shadow on it. I like this inner bevel effect. It's kind of a nice way to uh, create that cutout effect like it was punched out of the background. But again, a fun effect, easy to use, um, working with Wordle, your e-learning script, you're on a section or module basis, and see what kinds of graphical elements you can create.